why did LIBOR break down? The difference between where banks could borrow on a secured basis from the Fed and the LIBOR fixing actually has shrunk to zero and in fact turned negative at the beginning of April 2008. The schemes put in place by banks and device behavior that led to a number of mis-selling scandals on derivative products. And that's another in unintended consequences. And this suggests that at least several banks must have been involved in changing LIBOR by this kind of magnitude. Well, I'm a, a lawyer involved in LIBOR litigation. I've got a couple of clients with uh, potential claims against uh, one of the banks. So it was much more detailed and substantive than uh, a lot of the LIBOR presentations you go to, which are really quite superficial. Obviously, the lawyers have a good deal of expertise in this area, and therefore they're worth listening to. I know that Fidres has done some very interesting work in this area, so I was keen to hear what you had to say. It's worth having um, a presentation that gives you an overview of many of the different theories that have arisen um, and, and have it all in one place. At the moment, we're doing a number of swap cases, and they often have uh, libel manipulation elements to them. It's very very useful, there's a lot of background information, but then they get into the technicalities as well, so you know, you get a quite a rounded uh, view of, of what it's all about.